What's up guys, ID Mac here today and today I'm going to show you how to get SNES for the iPhone. Um, what you're going to need is definitely a jailbroken iPhone as you can see here. Or, Well actually this will work for any iPod Touch or any iPhone as long as you're on the 3.0 firmware. So as you can see, this is the Super NES for iPhone and I have uh, a few ROMs uploaded and I'll just show you real quick you can play this in portrait or landscape mode so this is fully working on the iPhone 3GS I'm on but uh, it will work on any iPhone as long as you're on the 3.0 firmware and any iPod as long as it's also on the iPhone um, 3.0 firmware and I'm gonna show you how to do this of course on a Mac and of course like all my other videos a PC alright so let's get started um, you definitely uh, first thing you need is gonna be SSH that's from Cydia so we're gonna open Cydia click on featured packages and then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see right here open SSH click on that so on the top right you're gonna um, install it I already have it so you're just gonna install it um, once you install it uh, there is no icon for the SSH it's just gonna be in your phone so after that um, you can open up Cydia search for SNES S -N -E -S. so you're gonna get that so you just download that I already have it so that's why it wasn't in my uh, in the game section so you can just go to games it's an on the S install that alright so now you have everything you need in your iPhone or iPod touch now um, you're gonna need uh, SSH client in your on your computer so for a Mac you're gonna cyberduck.ch links gonna be in the description click right here to download it um, and there you go and then once you install it it's gonna come out something like this now for Windows um, you're gonna need you need a uh, win s c p uh, I'm gonna have a link you're just gonna go to this website right here scroll down and download the win s c p now after you do that to install it I'm gonna install it right now I'm running uh, Windows 7 but it's the same thing as Windows Vista next 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 finish and launch win SAP alright so you're gonna get this for the Windows and you're gonna get this for um, Cyberduck now this step goes for both computers in Cyberduck just open connection Um, on the top right here you're going to want to click SFT SSH file transfer protocol so just click on that now the server is going to be the same thing as the host name now to get the server ID you're going to go to your phone go to settings um, go into Wi-Fi click on the blue arrow of your Wi-Fi that you're connected to and you're gonna see your, um, your IP right here uh, it's on the IP address so type that in type your IP address into the server or in Windows case the host name 192 Alright, and then the um, username is going to be root, R O O T, password is going to be Alpine, A L P I N E. Alright, and um, 
but on the path, you click on more options, you're just going to put in forward slash, the question mark or forward slash, and then we're going to connect. And now we're in, you're into your um, iPhone through your computer using SSH. Again, in Windows, this is your IP address here. Username is root, password Alpine. There is no private key file. And just make sure you take this um, SFTP allow SCP fallback. And then you're going to click um, connect. I mean log in. Right now my iPhone is not connected to this, but you can click that. It's gonna come out to the same thing as as this right here. You're gonna get this file menu, you're gonna go to VAR, V A R on the bottom, and then mobile. Look for mobile. And then uh, we're gonna go to media. Alright, once you're in this, and since you have a SNES uh, emulator installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you're going to have this ROM folder already in the media. So once you click that, you're going to see the NES folder. And this is where you're going to drag all your ROMs into. Now, um, the website, I'm letting uh, where you're going to get the ROMs from. It's going to be in my description. It's called iPhoneROMs.com. You can just go to, you know, straight up iPhoneROMs.com. And, um, you could download the NES SNES ROMs. Uh, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to download one. All right, I'll just download Batman Forever. So click the blue bar. It's gonna download. All right, and then what are you gonna do? is drag the ROM into the SNES ROM folder. Once you drag it in, it's going to transfer. And there it is. So now you have Batman in your iPhone. All right. Now, um, one important tip is before I forgot to mention, make sure you go to General, and um, the auto lock should be on Never, because while you're on SSH, if your iPhone uh, closes, SSH is not going to be connected. So you have to be just leave your iPhone on Never while you're doing this. All right. So we're gonna go to my SNES, and uh, there you go. Batman Forever. I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna show you how landscape mode looks like. The controls are on the. They're sort of like into the screen, so you know you're gonna get your controls like this. On landscape mode, you get to use the whole screen, so you get a bigger picture. Um, right now it's probably, it's a little laggy, but on on my phone it's very smooth, so. It's just this program I'm using, Demo God. It shows off the phone uh, laggy, laggy. All right, so you have that. There you go. Um, so you have the SNES for iPhone. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a message or PM me. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.